To remove the processor and heat sink, remove the top cover. Press the release button and then lift up on the cover latch. Lift the top cover straight up to remove it from the chassis. Disconnect the RAID supercapacitor module cable. Grasp the air baffle and lift straight up. To remove the system fan cage, lift and rotate the blue touch points, then lift straight up and out of the chassis. To remove a processor and heatsink module, you will need a Torx T30 screwdriver. Fully loosen the numbered captive fasteners on a processor heatsink module in the removal sequence shown on the heatsink label. Loosen fastener number four, then three, two, and then one. Carefully lift the processor heat sink module straight up from the processor socket. Place the PHM on an electrostatic mat with the processor facing up. Locate the pry notch and disconnect the nearest retainer clip. Place a standard head screwdriver into the notch near the clip and carefully twist the screwdriver counterclockwise to loosen the retainer from the heatsink. Disconnect the remaining clips in counterclockwise order. Grasp the retainer by the edges and lift straight up to separate the CPU and retainer from the heatsink. Leave the CPU in the retainer and place it in the appropriate electrostatic protective packaging. If the CPU or heatsink are going to be reused, use an approved wipe to clean the thermal grease from the part.